Welcome to Millennial News Now. I'm Joyce Grace, and here's today's worldwide top story. The governor of New York has resigned his position on social media. Andrew Cuomo spoke out about his resignation via social media. This is one of the most challenging times for government in a generation. Government really needs to function today. Government needs to perform. It is a matter of life and death, government operations. And wasting energy on distractions is the last thing that state government should be doing. And I cannot be the cause of that. New York tough means New York loving. And I love New York. And I love you. And everything I have ever done has been motivated by that love. And I would never want to be unhelpful in any way. And I think that given the circumstances, the best way I can help now is if I step aside and let government get back to governing. And therefore, that's what I'll do, because I work for you. And doing the right thing is doing the right thing for you. Because as we say, it's not about me. It's about we. The governor of New York said he takes full responsibilities for his actions, although he tried to justify his actions by stating in a press conference that there are generational or cultural changes that have been misunderstood, that he has not done anything that cannot be justified. During the speech done through his social media accounts on Tuesday, August 10th, the resignation of New York Governor Andrew Cuomo was confirmed, announcing his resignation be effective in 14 days. During the midst of having to deal with sexual harassment allegations, New York's governor was pressured to resign after 11 women in his work environment reported for him for sexual harassment. According to the New York Attorney General's Office, Cuomo is involved in 11 sexual harassment allegations mentioned in a 165-page report, which the politician at the time called false accusations. After retracting his remarks, the 63-year-old governor said he deeply apologized to those affected who reported being the victims of inappropriate gestures or insinuations of sexual harassment by Governor Cuomo. Cuomo had overseen the state govern governorship since 2011 and had previously been New York's gov attorney general from 2007 to 2010. Now, as a politician faces possible criminal charges, several prosecutors across the state have set out to investigate him. The Justice Department is also investigating the state's handling of data on various deaths in nursing homes during the pandemic in New York. In addition, State Attorney General Letitia James is investigating whether Cuomo broke the law by using members of his staff to help write and promote his book, with which he earned more than $5 million. Two outside attorneys interviewed 179 people over the course of five months whose testimony established that the Cuomo administration was a hostile work environment riddled with fear and intimidation of sexual harassment. These interviews and pieces of evidence reveal a deeply disturbing yet clear picture. Governor Cuomo sexually harassed current and former state employees in violation of both federal and state laws. New York's Attorney General explained on Tuesday what this investigation revealed was a disturbing pattern of a conduct by the governor of the great state of New York. The investigation also concluded that Cuomo violated federal and state laws prohibiting harassment in the workplace and that he and his team retaliated against at least one person who reported the incident. I'm Joyce Grace. Please share, subscribe, and like our page so you can help us inform more people about the latest news around the globe. 
Thank you for watching our video and see you next time.